brothers and sisters from the Latin South. There are also brothers and sisters from the East and the West. Let's not forget about the Syrian refugees. Some of their family members are here and some of their families are there. Don't forget about those students who are from Africa and the Middle East who also are going to be united if these justices will find the courage. I want you to know that this is a still a broken nation. Broken because we have some governors who are afraid to leave. Today we're not going to talk about them, we're going to talk about justice. We have come to this place seeking justice. We have come to this place many times before. Myself, I'm a descendant of slaves. And it was this court that upheld the 13th and the 14th Amendment to the Constitution that declared that people ought to be free. There are many of our brothers and sisters who, because they don't have citizenship, are nothing but 21st century slaves. Their labor is exploited because their employers know that their status is uncertain, that they don't have the rights of a citizen. And so we're saying today that we're asking these justices to stand firmly for justice for those who are in a state of limbo. We're asking God's mercy on the leadership of President Obama, who has put forward this legislation, we're asking right now, today, to end the segregation. Today, just like the Supreme Court ended the segregation in 1954 and 56, we're asking the Supreme Court to unify our families by upholding the legality of DAPA and DACA. We're saying today that we're asking these judges for them to exercise some moral courage. 